But y'all niggas not friends. Y'all mm-hmm. just employee, co-employees type shit. So you might think a motherfucker's cool. You might start to give them some game or start putting them in your Kool-Aid. Mm-hmm. And they start fucking around trying to put you on front street by some shit. I had one nigga at my, one nigga I thought was a friend. They going to say, hey man, how would you feel if your girl did the same way? What if your girl was doing the same thing to you? I looked at this nigga and like, nigga, what? Why would you even make me even think about that shit? And we kick it pimping. So you really ain't got no pimp in the kick. You really on some lane. You really a lane disguising, disguising yourself to kick pimping with me so you can just be around me. Because okay. I would never say that shit to none of my niggas. I wouldn't be like, man, what would you do? I'd be like, yo, something. That nigga doing that shit for a reason. Then they gonna ask my bitch. I know you working with him doing this, but what would you want, what you want to do for yourself? Nah. Whoa, 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 whoa. What nigga you had around you at That's the wrong across the territory. Man. That's Boy. going across the territory. That's some other shit. He That's trying to. Nah, man. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't. I ain't wow. I ain't, I ain't, you don't do that. Man, that's deep, yeah. coach. I'm just saying, so you got to watch who the mm. fuck you bring around your inner nest. But you know, at the end of the day, you all keep the whole testimony sacred, though. No, exactly. But yeah. I always keep that shit safe. Do you have anything going for him, son? Yeah. Mm, so that right there, that nigga must be looking at you as some other kind of fucking way. He was. 